race start. Lots of spinning. <laughs> hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here today once again at EST Performance with my freshly tuned A45S AMG. The car has literally just come off the dyno here having just been stage one tuned, running around 460 brake horsepower, which is around 30 to 35 brake horsepower up from what it was running standard. I am very excited for this. This car is a rocket ship from standard. And now with the stage one all dialed in, it's gonna be a hell of a good fun. As I mentioned, the car has literally just come off the dyno. So there's plenty of heat in the engine. So without further ado, I'm gonna hop in and have a first drive in my tuned A45S. Okay, straight out onto the roads. We are in uh, race mode, of course, obviously. Car is up to temp, as I mentioned. Let's see what this thing is like. Straight off the bat. Oh, wow, yeah. That's got poke. <laughs> That's got poke. <laughs> but fine. Normally, if I turn traction all the way off, it's even better, surprisingly, given that it is so cold today. A couple of downshifts. Yeah, I think we've got a little bit more burbles as well, actually. Obviously, we don't have the sound advantages of a stage two, but of course, there is plans in place for that not too far down the line. Second gear. <laughs> as I said in previous videos as well, this car is a rocket ship, even from standard. I found that out uh, pretty much straight away after collecting it. And just with some software tweaks, I say just, there is obviously a lot of work which goes into the software. Of course, it's all custom uh, software which EST uh, provide, but with no hardware bolt-ons, it's remarkable the amount of punch you get over the top of standard. Very, very impressive. <laughs> I think, to be honest, a lot of people, when it comes to tuning cars, they do go straight to stage two. I mean, I've done it in the past with my M140i. I didn't bother with stage one. I went straight to stage two. And to be honest, with my Golf R, I didn't even bother with stage one or two. I went straight to stage three. With this, I wanted to see the capabilities of each stage of tuning, which is obviously where EST come in very kindly. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think when I look at things down the line, I can see the differences of basically what each stage uh, does in terms of figures as well. I have managed a 3.86 uh, 0 to 60 on a launch control uh, with the factory map uh, on. And in fact, later on in this video, I will do another uh, reading to see exactly what we've got, weather dependent, and that will be the plan to do that for each uh, stage of tuning. But yeah, going back to my original point, people don't really bother with stage one now. Um, you obviously want the sound enhancements if you're gonna tune and modify the car. So I think stage one gets overlooked, but it is mad just with all the factory bolt-on, standard exhaust, standard induction kit, everything, and you can unlock a little bit more power. Of course, it's not gonna be anything to what you'd get for a stage two or three car with obviously the added bolt-ons, um, but yeah, it is very, very impressive indeed. And to be honest, this thing runs the power incredibly consistently as we, uh, as we found out on the dyno as well. <laughs> Just making the most of these little B-rows before we get onto the motorways. Let's actually drop it down into first. Traction is fully off. <laughs> it's so point and shoot. <laughs> I'm going to struggle to wipe this grin off my face. I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh, those snaps are good on the upshift when it gets hot. One thing I have noticed actually, from being behind the scenes and watching Jamie do all the tuning, do the tweaks 
uh, and get to the final figure, which we're of course running now, is I can feel where the power is coming in from when he was explaining to me uh, that kind of really strong section mid range. I can feel that now. Whilst, like I said, I could feel the power of it before, but being behind the scenes and basically seeing where the car is really strong, I can feel it right now, obviously on the road for the first drive. <laughs> it's actually really hard to keep your head <laughs> kind of forward. <laughs> We're back. It's been a couple of days. Unfortunately, the weather has taken a little bit of a turn. The roads are quite greasy. If you were to come out of a junction uh, and give it full berries, you do actually get a little bit of rear slip, as I found out just then. But yeah, we have the V-Box Performance Box Touch now all rigged up. Annoyingly, with my busy schedule, today is the only time I have to get a time on the board. And like I said, because the weather isn't amazing, I'm not confident to see what we're gonna get. Let me see if I can show you this slip. It gets a little bit lively. <laughs> it's such good fun though, such good fun. Um, but yeah, as I said, we're gonna get a launch control done. Um, uh, it's gonna spin, I know it's gonna spin, but I know categorically this car is a hell of a lot faster now with the stage one on it. I just don't know whether the conditions today are gonna prove it down onto the road. Um, so I will have to report back exactly where we are at. However, we of course have the car in the right modes. I'm just gonna put it in drive actually, rather than manual, just because the car is going to know when to change up the best. I'm just gonna reset that. Race start. Lots of spinning. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. I wish it was drier today. Let's give this a go. Reset that again. Did you see that in second? It just go whoop. <laughs> that was better though. That was better. Let's have a little look. I guess because the tires are getting a little bit warmer. So 3.86 is what we've got stock. 3.67, Three that's faster. That is genuinely astonishing <laughs> because, correct me if I'm wrong, when I did the original launch control, told you, <laughs> it gets slippy. <laughs> um, it was a dry day. And now, I mean, the roads, as you've just seen, are really greasy, really greasy. And we've gone faster. Wow. This car, from what I'm seeing here, this is a two second car, not to 60. This will get in the twos. <laughs> mental, absolutely mental. Anyway, right, into comfort mode. And I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Only did two runs. I don't think I'm gonna get much quicker than that just because the roads, I mean, look, look ahead. You can just see that film of grease. Uh, there's been loads of salt on the roads. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that though. Nearly a mid threes with the stage one. I'm sure there's been better times out there from a stage one. In fact, I'm sure EST have done way better times. Um, but yeah, from what we've got today with my schedule and the conditions, very, very happy. Very, very happy indeed. Um, of course, a massive thank you once again goes to EST uh, for the stage one and for being such a big partner in this car. Uh, plenty of updates uh, and news coming with those guys very soon. Of course, you can find their details down below, as I mentioned. Um, but yeah, for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come. <laughs>